All right, welcome to the Newton Second Law Lab. Uh, so we did this as a mini lab earlier in the unit, and now we're gonna try to figure out, yes, we know that mass affects the acceleration, we know that the net force on an object affects the acceleration. Now we wanna figure out, is there a mathematical model, an equation that shows us that relationship? And we're gonna try to see if we can figure that out by doing a lab and collecting some data and then analyzing it. So I have Mr. Sleep here to help me uh, with this lab. So we are going to do this lab in two parts. We're gonna see first how the amount of force affects the acceleration of a, of a system. Um, and then we're, the part two is we're gonna see how the mass of the system um, affects the acceleration of it. So part one, how does the net force affect the acceleration? Now our system, in this case, is going to be a cart attached to a string over a pulley and with a hanging mass on the end. And the hanging mass and whatever is the cart and on the cart is going to be what we're gonna call our system. So every mass, this one, including the cart, is going to be our system. So in this lab, we need to hold something constant. We need to hold one of these variables constant. Again, we're trying to test if the force, how the force affects the acceleration. So what must we hold constant? The mass, exactly. So we're gonna hold the mass constant and for this one, we're going to use all of our masses as part of our system. So our system mass is never going to change. Uh, so I'm going to measure the mass of all of the things that we're going to be using in this unit. I'm going to put them in a little tray. I'm going to zero it out so it does not measure the mass of the tray. And then I'm going to place all of the masses, including the cart, onto the scale. And the mass of our whole system is going to be 1,000 and 48 grams, or 1.048 kilograms, and that will not change throughout this entire part one. All right, so this is uh, trial one. Um, we are going to hang a 20 gram mass off of the edge here, um, and so you can calculate the amount of force that is gonna be on our system is just the force of gravity on this 20 gram mass. So we are just about ready to go, but again, we're gonna know how much force is acting on our system, right? This is the force of gravity on this mass hanging here. But we're gonna need a way to find the acceleration, to know what the acceleration of our system is. So one way we can do that is by using our motion equations, uh, and we can figure out that based on the starting velocity, the initial velocity of that cart, which is at rest, and the final velocity, which we can find using this photo gate, which tells us the velocity that that cart has when it's going through the photo gate, and by knowing the distance between where it starts and where we measure the final velocity, that displacement, we can calculate what the acceleration was. We're gonna do trials. Um, we're gonna run each of these trials three times and then take the average velocity from here in order to make our calculations for the acceleration. The constant distance that we will be releasing this cart from during each of these trials will be exactly one meter. So one meter distance between where it starts and where it ends its motion. All right, the 20 gram hanging mass, trial one. The 20 gram hanging mass, trial two. Right, the 20 gram hanging mass, trial three. Now we're gonna do 40 grams as our hanging mass. But remember, we need to keep the mass of the system the same, keep it constant. And so any mass that we wanna add here has to come from within our system, which means has to come from the cart. So Mr. Sleep's gonna hand me another 20 grams. And so now with 20 and 20, we have equivalent 40 grams of hanging mass. 40 grams hanging mass, trial one. Forty grams 
hanging mass, uh, trial number two. 40 grams hanging mass, trial three. 100 gram hanging mass, trial one. Hundred gram hanging mass, trial two. Trial three. One hundred and forty grams hanging mass, trial one. Trial two. <laughs> Trial three. All right, we are now gonna hang 200 grams off of as the hanging mass. Um, now remember, we're getting this 200 grams from our system. So we just are replacing masses from the cart and then hanging them off the end so that the total mass of the system is constant throughout these all these trials. This is the 200 gram hanging mass, trial one. What's that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> trial two. Trial three. 240 gram hanging mass, trial two. Trial three. 300 gram hanging mass, trial one. Trial two. Trial three. Now we're going to transition to part two of our lab. How does the mass of our system affect that acceleration? So in this part of the lab, what do we need to hold constant? We need to hold constant that hanging mass, right? We're trying to keep the force on our system constant. So the force on our system, right, is this force of gravity from our hanging mass. So we need to hold that constant. So we're gonna hold that constant by hanging just the 100 gram mass, um, the 0 0.01 kilogram mass, off of the end of the pulley. And that is not gonna change, it's gonna be consistent throughout the entire lab. To change the mass of the system, we're just going to remove um, or add masses to our cart in each of these trials. So for each data point that we get in this lab, we are going to be changing the mass um, and seeing how the mass affects our acceleration. Again, our acceleration we're going to measure um, by finding the final velocity from this photo gate um, and then by knowing the distance is exactly one meter, um, doing some calculations to determine what the acceleration is for each of those um, trials. Uh, and to change the mass of our object, we're simply going to remove masses or add masses to our cart such that the total system mass is different every time while we hold the amount of force pulling on our system constant. System mass 1.4 kilograms, trial one. System mass 1.4 kilograms, trial two. Trial three. System mass 1.1 kilograms, trial number one. Trial two. Trial three.
So now we've removed some mass from our system by removing some from the cart. Um, and now our total system mass is 1.06 kilograms. Trial one. Trial two. Trial three. System mass, 1.01 kilograms, trial one. Trial two. Trial three. System mass, 0 0.9 kilograms, trial one. Trial two. Trial three. System mass, 0 0.81 kilograms. Trial one. Trial two. Trial three. System mass, 0.7 kilograms, trial one. Trial two. Trial three. System mass, 0.61 kilograms, trial one. Trial two. Trial three. We are now hanging the 100. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Last time? Yeah. Dude, nice. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah. It's trial two. It's trial three. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> 590. So it's 9.9. 9.9. Nice math. It works. Trial two. How did that happen? <laughs> Repeat that. Oh, we should have boomers at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.